I freaking love Adobe Premiere Pro and I use it pretty much every day that I work. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about one of the reasons why I really like to use it, which is workspaces. So let's dive into what that means. When you're using Adobe Premiere Pro, they have these things called workspaces, which basically change how the program is laid out. You have to think of it as if I'm doing this kind of task, like editing, I want Premiere Pro to look like this. If I'm doing color correcting or audio, or I'm doing my first assembly of my edit, it's gonna look a different way. So there's built-in presets within Adobe Premiere Pro, and let me show you some of them. First up is assembly. This one's perfect because if you have all your different clips over here on the left and you put them into, let's say, thumbnail view, and you have your different clips, you can quickly scrub through them, preview them over in this section, and then drag them down to the timeline. So that's what assembly is really good for. Next, you have editing. Editing is really great once you have already made your, your first pass of assembly, of bringing in your main A-roll clips of maybe you talking or your talent on screen, and then you have your B-roll going. And editing is the workspace that I use when I'm actually trying to fine tune the edit. So I can pull up clips that I'm working on over here on the left, then I can scrub through them. And if I want to make a slight change, I'll pull them up over here, adjust the in and out, replace it down in the timeline. And then when I'm playing back the timeline, I can see that here in the upper right. And this workspace is perfect for the main chunk of doing video editing. Then I typically move into the color workspace. And the color workspace is a newer workspace inside of Premiere Pro with CC 2015. And this one's really great because once you have your clips selected either down in a sequence or even in your project media browser area, you can go ahead and instead of having to do the Lumetri color things within the effects controls, you can actually do them over here on this right sidebar area and they work basically like you're editing in Lightroom or in Photoshop. So you open up your Lumetri scopes, you can see the exposure and the RGB parade and brightness levels, and then you can go ahead and adjust your image. Maybe I'll increase the contrast a little bit. I can maybe add more vignette, take away the vignette if I want, and maybe I'll get creative and turn this one on and get a special look and just make it a little more intense. And so then I have my look instead of whatever it was before. Then they have things like the effects workspace, which helps you navigate through your effects a little bit better. And at any time, this one looks like it's maybe a little messed up. You can go to window workspaces, reset to save layout, and it'll reset it back to what Adobe had it set as or what you saved it as. So I have a few of my own. I have one that I use for two monitors, and you'll see it actually brings up two windows. And this one has three windows because I must have had three monitors the last time I used this. But if I go ahead and go to Workspace, Reset to Save Layout, you can see that I have one here that I'll put and pretend like I have two monitors running. I have one that has simply my timeline, my program monitor, my tools, and my audio levels, and that'll be on my right screen. Then on my left screen, I have this side, which if you're viewing it full screen has my, my browser, my, my effects controls that have much more space for keyframing. I bring in uh, the source monitor if I'm bringing in different clips. And then with this reference, I can either have it set to multicam where I'm switching between angles, or I can change it to be uh, like levels for for audio, I can make it be scopes for color correcting. I can do more with having dual monitors. So let's go back to the main editing workspace here. And you can see along the top, there's a the different workspaces that you can choose between. And I wanna show you now how to customize these a little bit. So what you can do is let's say you really want your effect controls to be a little bit more visible. You don't really need this source monitor that often. What you can do is let's say we take effect controls, drag it to the left here, and now they will be active whenever I click on a clip 
And my source monitor here, I could even make it the same size as my program monitor because I'm kind of like that where things need to be symmetrical. And now I can get to my effect controls and still see my source monitor and still see my program monitor. And so it's helpful to customize these to what you're trying to do. And then if you really like this layout, you just go to Window, Workspaces, Save as New Workspace, and then you can actually name it something new. Or you can say Save Changes to this workspace, and it'll overwrite that workspace. I think I said workspace about 100 times in this video. I'll have to check the transcript and see. But this is one of the main reasons why Premiere Pro is so customizable, and a lot of professionals use it is you can set it up however you want it. If you have multiple displays, if you have three monitors and a TV, you can choose what's on each of those really easily and just focus on getting the editing done. So this is the number one reason why I like using Adobe Premiere Pro. I'll be releasing videos after this one to share some of the other reasons why I like Premiere Pro over some of the other options. But I'm also going to be doing the same thing with Final Cut Pro 10 because I like certain things about that program over Premiere, over Premiere Pro as well. So I'm gonna do a little back and forth over the next couple weeks. And in the meantime, I have a free course that you can take called Premiere Pro 101, and it will walk you through how to start using Premiere Pro, how to start editing in it, how to sync your video and audio, doing multi-cams, getting started with color correcting, exporting, importing, all those things. And it's all for free, and you can check that out by following the link below this video or in the description of this post. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Workspaces. I said it again. What are you going to do about it? Peace.